morning guys. I am making cookies today for St. Patrick's Day. So I've got my Nana's Pyrex mixing bowls out and in the yellow one I have um, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. In the other bowl, the green bowl, I have a half a cup of unsalted butter, the soft that's soft, um, a half a cup of white sugar, and a third cup of brown sugar that's lightly packed. Once I cream the sugar and the, the butter together, I'm going to add an egg and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you'll see that I've got some mint chocolate M&Ms that are in two shades of green to add for the chocolate chips. Um, so I'll be back with a photo of my finished product. Okay, you ready for another St. Patrick's treat? I'm going to make Irish cream chocolate fudge. So in the pot I have three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add, and a cup of sugar, white sugar, and I'm going to add three cups of miniature marshmallows. Heat that up, and then I'll add a quarter cup of Irish cream, a quarter cup of whipping cream, and that um, 300 gram package of chocolate chips. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We'll be back. So the fudge is done and I was absolutely shocked to learn that I didn't have an 8x8 square baking pan. But I did have this 8x8 plastic container so I buttered up some parchment and crisscrossed it in the um, plastic container and uh, poured in the fudge and now it's going into the fridge. Next up we're going to make St. Patrick's Day Lucky Charms treats. Very similar to Rice Krispie treats, but we're going to use Lucky Charms cereal. And the um, colored marshmallows that's in the cereal are going to show up and, and give it a real holiday flair. This is a fast recipe, a quick recipe. It takes one pot. You don't even have to measure anything. So uh, let's get going. So here we are. Um, it occurred to me that I didn't give you the actual measurements. So I used a half a cup of butter, which I melted. Then I added two small packages of miniature marshmallows. That's um, each small package is 250 grams. Uh, so that's about eight ounces. So 16 ounces of miniature marshmallows. And then I, I added this entire family size box of Lucky Charms. So that says one pound, 4.5 ounces. And it turned out just great. I'm probably going to come back in with some candy melts later just to add a drizzle on the top. Or maybe um, some candy melts and some sparkles. Sprinkles. Well, let's... Uh, We'll think about that and I will come back and show you when they're ready to be cut. Well, back again for another quick St. Patrick's Day treat. This time we're using uh, Oreo cookies, candy melts, and sprinkles. Uh, candy melts are on sale this week actually at Michael's, so good time to pick some up. Uh, so we're going to melt a little bit of the green and the white candy melts, dip in the Oreo cookies, and add a few sprinkles. Okay, now the candy melts are melted, so I just uh, threw some of them into a little ramekin and put them in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and then, uh, you know, give them a stir and when they were all melted, they're ready to go. So just dip the cookie in halfway. I'm going to shake off some of the extra and lay it on this parchment. Uh, I got this uh, parchment, this pre-cut parchment at um, Valorama. So they were a uh, Betty Crocker brand and there's 10 sheets. Each sheet is 15 by 11 I guess and uh, they're really handy. And it's nice not having to to cut anything. So I'm dipping the golden Oreos into the white 
And while the, the candy is still warm, I'm going to throw on a few green sprinkles just to really fancy things up. Just a few. You don't want to go crazy. I also got the sprinkles at uh, Michael's yesterday. I think they were about a dollar fifty a piece, and I was really hoping I could have found something, you know, a little more festive. Maybe some little shamrocks or something. They had nothing. All the Easter stuff is there, but. Nothing shamrocky. I thought afterwards I should have got gold instead of white, and that would have been really good. Could have been, you know, the idea of leprechaun gold. Maybe even rainbows. That would have been interesting. This would be a fun activity to do with the kids if you could. Uh, Get them to not eat the Oreos while you're making them. These look pretty impressive when they're all lined up on a plate too. So definitely a fun thing to take as a, a treat when you're visiting friends and family this spring. Okay, so there's some green ones. Let's add a few white sprinkles. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to finish these up and I'll be back. Okay, you still have the candy melts, right? Um, they might have cooled off a bit, so put them back in the microwave for 20 seconds or so. And just using a fork, you want to drizzle, shake it on over. There we go. This is coming along good. Don't want to let this stuff go to waste after all. And then, once we've got the green on, we'll turn it the other direction, I think, and put on some white. My goodness, I almost look like I'm a professional here. I've never drizzled a thing in my life. Alrighty. Should we turn it or should we just... Hmm. Just rinse that floor off now. Maybe we'll go the same direction. I don't want things to be too confused. Okay, so now we've got some white. cooking with gas. There. I think that's going to look really sharp once they're all cooled and cut. Maybe a couple of sprinkles. Done. Okay. Another treat done. 